this video, we are going to practice adding an account to the chart of accounts. Now, the exercise we're going to follow along with is over here on the right side of my screen, and this is pulled from our basic level pro advisor certification course, which if you would like more information about that course after we go through the exercise, be sure to click on the link in the description. But let's go ahead and dive in and read through our scenario. Craig is investing in some new power tools for his landscaping business and needs to add a new account to keep track of how much his equipment is worth. So to do this exercise, you will need to be in the sample company. Now, if you're not sure how to get into the sample company or get your own free QBOA account, be sure to click on the link in the description. Over here on the left side of my screen is the dashboard for the sample company. And once you sign in, this is what it will look like. So let's go ahead and get started with the exercise. First, we need to go to the chart of accounts page. Now there are multiple ways to get to this page, so we're only gonna look at one of those ways. From the left navigation bar, we're going to hover over transactions and then select chart of accounts. The left navigation bar is over here, Hover over transactions, it's towards the top there. And once you hover over that from the drop down, you can click on chart of accounts. Now let's go ahead and create that new account by clicking on the green new button, not the arrow next to it, but just the button. And that's over here on the upper right corner of the screen. Click on that. First thing we need to do is we need to give the account a name to make it easy to identify what is listed in this account. So in the account name field, we want to type power tools, click into that account name field, and then go ahead and type power tools. Next, we will need to select a, uh, the type of account. Equipment will be an asset to the business. So in that account type field, we're going to select fixed assets. Click into that down or that arrow to, to click the drop down. <laughs> and then the fourth one down is fixed assets. Go ahead and click on that. Next, we will need to provide more detail on this fixed asset. This detail field can be helpful for the accountant when he or she fills out the tax forms. And so if you're ever unsure which one to use, always consult with your accountant. So in the detail type field, select fixed asset, other tools, equipment. So click in that, uh, uh, click into that box to get the drop down. Scroll down just a little bit and you will see this fixed asset, other tools, equipment. Click on that. And then we are going to leave all of this other information, these boxes, we can just leave them as is. We are all done here. So now we just click on the green save button on the bottom right corner of the screen. And that's it. The new account has been created and can now be found on the list of the chart of accounts. So if I scroll down a little bit, there you can see Power Tools. That's the one that we just did. And uh, that's it. That's how you would add an account to the chart of accounts. Now, if you like this exercise or you want more information about that basic level pro advisor certification course, be sure to click on the link in the description and I will see you in the next exercise.